While the heat continues in New York after the DA brought in that rebuttal witness this week, tabloid veteran David Pecker, who cooperated in a probe against Trump before. A pro-Trump tabloid for months before the election. Its headlines hyping a win. Another Trump ally cooperating with investigators, and this one's gaining immunity for doing so. That friend, David Pecker, is the CEO of the National Enquirer's parent company, American Media. The National Enquirer hid President Trump's secrets in a safe. He agreed to provide information about Michael Cohen, the president, and the criminal investigation into campaign finance violations. This is a fake case. This is, they have absolutely nothing. Whether the twice impeached ex president likes it or not, the work of Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg continues. Now, that new witness making news, as you can see, so many different people, so many different networks are tracking whether the case heads towards an indictment of Trump or heads towards something else. There's no sign the grand jury will hold a vote or finish its work this week. That's another indication that DA Bragg is in charge, running on his own timeline. Trump has tried a range of PR ploys, attacks, and possibly illegal pressure tactics to somehow impact the New York probe. But the DA isn't buying it and doesn't seem to be changing anything on behalf of this potential defendant. The DA is following the money. And the question remains whether that path will lead to a chargeable crime. As promised, I want to bring in Maya Wiley, a veteran of the Southern District of New York, as a civil prosecutor. She's also CEO of the Leadership Council on Human and Civil Rights. And somewhat relevant, at least for people who don't know in New York, you were also running in a Democratic primary at the same time D.A. Bragg was. So you're a little bit aware of some of the pressures and the path he got to now becoming perhaps the most famous D.A. in America. Uh, when you see this rebuttal witness, uh, Mr. Pecker, who's cooperated before, and you see what we're watching this week. Um, where is this Where is this grand jury at? Ninth inning and then what? I definitely think this grand jury has got to be at ninth inning. The most logical way to look at David Pecker being called back for a second time is to be a rebuttal witness, mm -hmm. although we don't know for a fact. But remember that David Pecker had a cooperation agreement, right. right? So he is fully cooperating with the district attorney's office. And I think the point here is he was in the room with uh, uh, obviously, Michael Cohen in conversations both about uh, the catch and he's related to the catch and kill for Karen McDougal, as well as the Stormy Daniels story. So he we know he has information both about how Donald Trump and the Trump organization interacted with these kinds of issues of trying to protect Donald Trump's public rec reputation, and that despite Donald Trump claiming that he barely, you know, my, Michael Cohen barely did any work for him, mm -hmm. well, he's certainly showing up in a lot of work, including having an email address for the Trump organization, which is itself a convicted felon.